Have you ever thought about what our sun looked like when it was a very young star? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has made an incredible discovery about our sun, allowing us to see our star in a whole new light. The JWST's latest discovery offers fascinating insights into the youthful phases of stars and the massive processes that may have taken place in the early years of our sun. Have we now unlocked another of the great mysteries of the universe thanks to this new superstar telescope? What secrets still await us out there in the universe? The James Webb Space Telescope is a prime example of the progress made by state-of-the-art technologies. Since the telescope was launched, the exploration of the cosmos has progressed at a rapid pace. With its latest mission, the JWST has once again demonstrated its extraordinary ability to penetrate deep into the secrets of the universe. This was particularly evident when the telescope imaged the object HH21 with unprecedented brilliance. HH21, also known as a Herbig Harrow object, is an extremely young star that is advanced enough to blow powerful jets into the universe and begin dynamically shaping its surroundings. Since its study by the JWST, HH21 has provided a wealth of valuable information about the young stage of stars, and thus also the youth of our own sun. These observations provide us with crucial knowledge about the physical processes that take place during the early stages of stellar evolution. Herbig Harrow objects are among the most remarkable astrophysical phenomena in regions of young stellar evolution. They consist of narrow jets of gas ejected from newly formed stars, shooting into the surrounding interstellar space at high speed. These jets collide with surrounding gas and dust, resulting in spectacular emissions. Herbig Harrow objects were discovered in the 1950s by astronomers George Herbig and Guillermo Harrow, who independently researched star forming regions and first noticed the immense emissions. Long before the JWST era, energy-rich jets from the center of a young star indicated the violent nature of stellar nurseries. Baby stars are anything but cute and cuddly, they are undoubtedly beautiful but also powerful. The forces that lead to the formation of a star are enormous, and even in the first billion years, things heat up around a young star. It takes hundreds of millions of years for a star to eventually shine as peacefully and consistently as our sun. The object of the most recent observations, the Herbig Harrow object HH21, is located in an active star-forming region in the constellation Perseus, around 1,000 light-years away from Earth. HH21 is particularly interesting as it is one of the youngest and closest examples of these objects, making it a perfect field of study to explore the physics of star formation in detail. The discovery also provides us with spectacular views of the dynamic processes that probably took place in the first phases of our sun's life. The JWST has imaged HH21 with unprecedented precision, providing even more fascinating insights. For the first time, it was possible to see a double star may even be forming in the center of HH21. The images reveal two bright high-energy jets emanating from a central point, enriched with molecules such as carbon monoxide and silicon monoxide, evidence of high-energy dynamics inside the star and its immediate surroundings. The discovery of molecular hydrogen within the jets was a big surprise and now provides a completely new picture of the chemical composition and thermodynamic conditions in the early stages of star formation. In the accretion disk surrounding the young star, other objects such as planets and moons could potentially form. However, the intense bombardment of the disk by the extreme emissions of the jets could make the formation of stable bodies more difficult. The JWST investigations also showed that the jets of HH21 are slower than those of many other Herbig Harrow objects. This slower speed could indicate that the star is at a very early age of development or that the processes in this young system are generally less turbulent than in other stellar nurseries. The ability to observe fundamental cosmic processes such as these at close range and with high precision represents a significant advance in astronomy and will lead to ever more exciting discoveries in the future. Observing the birthplaces of new stars also provides insights into how ionized gases and plasma interact. The energetic jets that hit the cold surrounding interstellar medium create luminous shock fronts that act as visual boundaries of the young star systems. These early vaporized forms of a star are comparable to the protective shell of our sun's heliosphere. On a scientific mission with the JWST, scientists are excited about the new possibilities. The JWST is equipped with a range of innovative scientific instruments, such as the near-infrared camera, spectrometer, the mid-infrared instrument and the fine guidance sensor near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph. 
these instruments can detect even the finest light from very young and distant objects that would never be visible to our eyes. By using infrared technologies, astronomers can now see through dust clouds to view previously hidden corners of the universe and gain direct insight into young stars and their formation regions, often hidden in dense dust shells. Thanks to the high sensitivity of the JWST, astronomers and space enthusiasts alike can enjoy a level of detail that has never before been achieved in the history of astronomy. The JWST can not only image these fine light signals but also analyze them, providing data on the movements and temperatures of the gases, as well as details of all the chemical elements and molecules involved. Herbig Harrow objects, typical of active star-forming regions such as the Orion Nebula or the constellation Perseus, are important objects for studying chemical processes in space. These regions are rich in gas and dust and offer optimal conditions for star formation. Stars are formed from the condensation of these accumulations of matter under the influence of immense forces. The jets ejected by young stars, which shoot through space at speeds of several hundred kilometers per second, are only part of the dynamic processes that take place during star formation. When these jets hit the surrounding medium, they heat it up and create the characteristic luminous arcs and knots visible in our telescopes. Within this colorful spectacle, not only immense physical forces are at work but also a fireworks display of elements, electrical and magnetic forces. Fascinating observations show how the jets interact with the surrounding material, helping to shape the cloud from which the star is formed. Every ray of light and every color provides the JWST, and thus the scientists, with important clues about what exactly is happening. Witnessing these processes live and in the early stages is like getting a direct insight into the blueprint of a star. Understanding how matter is incorporated into the stellar disk, how the final mass of a star is determined and which elements and gases are involved can help us draw important conclusions about the forces at work. This, in turn, helps us to understand the overall matter formation processes in the universe. Although we can well imagine that star formation is one of the high-energy processes in the universe, it is difficult to imagine that such a baby star can generate wind several hundred light-years long and blow them into space. The jets of the herbig harrow objects could be direct relics of the enormous angular momentum that causes dust disks to begin to rotate and condense in the center in the first place. It is possible that the young star uses the jets to blow out the forces it no longer needs, and at the same time, the energy released drives other dynamic processes in its vicinity. Maturation processes in the interior of the gas and dust cloud in star systems are crucial to understanding star formation. We have so far only observed jets in young and actively forming stars, however, we also know of very old galaxies in the universe that generate violent jets in their active centers. Some of these galactic winds extend far beyond their galaxies, dispersing huge amounts of material which ultimately affect the mass of the star and the surroundings of the star-forming region. The material and energy released then drive further star births or other dynamics in the cosmos. Let's consider for a moment the role of magnetic structures around a young star. Magnetic fields are crucial for controlling the accretion process, in which the star attracts gas and dust from the surrounding disk, and they also influence the orientation of the jets. Magnetic fields are not only important in the immediate vicinity of young stars but are present throughout the cosmos. These invisible forces direct the paths of charged particles and affect the shape and evolution of entire star systems. In our own solar system, the magnetic forces mediated by the sun's magnetic field are vital to maintaining the heliosphere, the bubble that protects the entire solar system from harmful cosmic rays and particles of interstellar space. The Sun itself generates a complex and variable magnetic field that determines the order of our planetary system, enables the Earth's climate, and controls space weather conditions. Sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections are manifestations of the Sun's magnetic activity. As you may know, such events sometimes have significant effects on the functioning of satellites and communications systems on Earth, and they produce the auroras. The study of magnetic fields in young stellar systems like HH21 is an exciting field of research and is still in its infancy. If we understand the formation of stars in distant regions, we can also see part of the history of our Sun. Our star is 4.5 billion years old and has undergone many changes since its birth in a disk of dust and gas. The beginning of the system also determined how planets were formed, the mighty Jupiter, the rocky planets including our Earth, the other gas giants, and tiny planets such as Mercury or Pluto. 
they were all somehow already present in the beginnings of the system, or very specific circumstances helped shape the formation of the planets and thus the cosmic environment of our home. The more we know about this, the more we can understand how our solar system was formed, and the more we know about the general creation processes in the universe. Once we have cracked the formula for the formation of stars and thus matter, we are much closer to understanding the cosmos and perhaps even finding something like a universal blueprint. Press subscribe now and look forward to many more video hits.